Why is God not speaking to me? In the silence of our prayers, when words float into the void without echo, a heart-wrenching question often emerges from the depths of our souls. Why is God not speaking to me? This exploration delves into the caverns of spiritual silence, seeking to understand the nature of divine communication and the reason behind its apparent absence. The experience of divine silence is not unfamiliar to the faithful. It traverses the pages of scripture, touching the lives of prophets, saints, and seekers, embedding itself into the narrative of our spiritual journey. This silence, often mistaken for absence or indifference, holds within it a profound invitation to a deeper faith and understanding. At the core of this inquiry lies the complexity of our expectations. We live in an age of instant communication, where silence is both rare and unsettling. We apply the same expectations to God, anticipating immediate and clear responses to our prayers. Yet, God's ways are not our ways, and His timing transcends our understanding. Isaiah 55, 8 reminds us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. This passage encourages us to recalibrate our expectations to seek understanding, not in the immediacy of replies, but in the trust that God's silence is pregnant with purpose. The reasons for divine silence are as varied as the individuals who experience it. Sometimes it serves as a period of spiritual testing, a crucible in which our faith is defined and strengthened. At other times, it is an invitation to introspection, urging us to examine our lives, our motives, and the barriers we may have erected between ourselves and God. Sin, disobedience, and unresolved inner turmoil can muffle the voice of God, turning what should be a clear channel into a one-way stream of petitions and pleas. Yet, the silence of God is also a call to deepen our relationship with Him, to move beyond a faith built and the temporal towards a faith rooted in trust and surrender. Psalm 46.10 offers a powerful directive in the midst of divine silence. Be still and know that I am God. In this stillness, we are invited to know God, not through words, but through presence, through the assurance of His love and sovereignty over our lives. The journey through divine silence is not a solitary trek, but a communal pilgrimage. The shared experience of those who have walked this path before us provide guidance, comfort, and the reassurance that we are not abandoned. The saints and mystics, with their rich legacies of spiritual silence, remind us that periods of divine quiet are often precursors to deeper spiritual revelations and intimacy with God. Why is God not speaking to me? It's not a question of despair, but a doorway to exploration and growth. It challenges us to seek God not only in the thunder and the whirlwind, but in the whisper and the silence. It calls us to a faith that does not rely on the constant affirmation of words, but on the unshakable foundation of God's presence and promises. In conclusion, as we navigate the periods of divine silence in our spiritual journey, let us embrace them as sacred spaces for growth, reflection, and deeper communion with God. 
May we find comfort in the knowledge that God's silence is not a sign of absence, but a testament to his mysterious and boundless love for us, inviting us to seek him with hearts wide open, ready to receive the fullness of his presence in his perfect timing. If you found value in this video and are seeking deeper insights, we've crafted numerous other videos. Please refer to the link displayed on your screen for further exploration. Should you feel a call for prayer, we warmly invite you to share the request in the comments section below. I will personally dedicate time to pray for you with sincerity, and I believe many of our viewers will join in offering their prayers as well. Thank you for being here.